In the government quarter of Kiev, civilians are now defending the institutions of state. President Yanukovych, along with his security forces, has vanished. The only functioning institution is parliament, where the opposition now find themselves enjoying a majority. President Yanukovych's party members are defecting or resigning. That includes the speaker, one of his key allies. I would like to inform you the head of the parliament, Volodymyr Rybak, has written a statement removing himself from all duties of the parliament head because of illness and his need for treatment. Deputies have been approving resolutions that may seal the president's political fate, his impeachment and elections to be held as quickly as possible. Millions of citizens see only one solution to what's happening today, and that is the calling of early presidential elections. That's why today we offer an initiative to vote for Viktor Yanukovych's resignation. This will provide a legal reason for presidential elections. According to the Constitution, elections have to be held no later than May the 25th. Friday's compromise agreement signed between President Yanukovych and the opposition is beginning to unravel because by leaving the capital, Yanukovych has shown he's no longer in charge. But even in the east, where the opposition was believed to be weakest, pictures were coming in of more rallies and topplings of Lenin, a symbol of Ukraine's ties to Russia. In Kiev, it's now down to those who have struggled for his departure to fill in behind the power vacuum his security forces have left behind. This is now the symbolic center of power in Kiev, the opposition movement still on Independence Square, and its revolutionaries are beginning to feel like victors. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Kiev.